Check out the brand new shirts, including trusty blue and the Sting Money design, over at ProWrestlingTees.com slash 616 Entertainment. This video is also brought to you in part by the Patreon producers, without whom content like this would not be possible. Right in the eyeball. What's up, Dan Dance? Welcome to Let's Play Friday. Obviously, this week on the show, we are playing Friday the 13th on the NES. Now, this game, let's just say it's confusing. Use the torch to light the fireplaces. We can do that. So, I mean, in theory, we can do that. What we need to do first is get a torch. So, we play as these camp. They're oh, fuck! Holy shit! I've never seen him this early! <laughs> I'm not even kidding! Holy shit, okay, we got rid of him. God damn! I did a practice run right before I started recording just so I would have the controls down and I'd know what I was doing. I didn't want it to be hard to watch or embarrassing. I didn't see Jason one time and I played for like 20 minutes. That threw me for a fucking loop ski. Okay, so... We are uh, so we need to find the cabins that have uh, Fuck the fire. Okay. We don't want to be in the forest yet We need to find the cabins that have the fireplaces in them. I guess Because it says we need to light them and let me god damn it Let me just try and describe to you how frustrating this game is These zombies that are popping up, which I don't know why there are zombies. Maybe it's Pamela Voorhees Who's that? Thank you Who's that's I don't understand. <laughs> Laura. Is she one of the children? See how the, the children- OH! Holy shit! Holy fuck. Okay, he takes a lot of hits. And there goes our first character. George is dead. Wow. This is very different from the practice run that I did. We, we lost our torch. So if- I, whoa, this person's way faster. Which is probably gonna get me in a lot of trouble because these zombies are extremely hard to avoid. Um, yeah, we need to get the goddamn torch. We need to light the fucking fireplaces. There we go. Torch. Oh, there was a knife out there! It didn't give me the knife! Oh no, give me the knife! Let's stand out here and kill a couple zombies and see if we can get the knife. Because if you have any better weapon than the fucking rock, the game becomes a lot easier. From for, as far as I understand, in the few times I've played this for just a few minutes. But that children meter up there, I guess Jason is out attacking those goddamn kids. And uh, fuck, this knife's not gonna show up, so let's just light the fireplace if there's one in here. When the children meter starts to go down and get attacked, you wanna go save the kids. Here's the problem. I have no idea how to fucking do that. I look at the map, which is this thing right here. So you see on the left hand side of the screen, the flashing stick figure, that's us. All the way on the other side, that green flashing cabin, I guess is where the children are? Did I just pick something up? I don't know, whatever it was, it went by really fast. This rock is goddamn useless. So you're supposed to, in theory, get over there and save those children, but how the fuck am I supposed to get over there that fast? There, another kid just died. So, it is what it is. I'm sorry, kids. You shouldn't have sent me if you wanted to stay alive. First of all, you shouldn't have come to fucking Camp Crystal Lake, aka Camp Blood. But, how fitting is it that we are playing Friday the 13th on... Friday the 13th, and I'm gonna be honest with you, uh-oh, sun's going down. Can I get a fucking knife, please? Not here. I don't want to be in the woods yet. <laughs> if you did not know, this is the only Friday the 13th that we are going to have for the rest of the year, and this week's episode of Let's Play Friday is has been done for a while, and it was scheduled to go up. The episode is centered around NBA Jam on the Sega Genesis, but... I mean, it's Friday the 13th, man! What, I'm not gonna play Friday the 13th on the only one we have this year? So NBA Jam Tournament Edition, to be exact, is gonna have to wait until next week 
And then you guys are going to get a little bit of uh, Bulls versus Mavericks action. What do you think about that? I don't know how many Dan Dans are basketball fans. And full disclosure, I'm not really a basketball guy at all. Growing up just outside of Chicago, I was there for the, the Bulls dynasty when I was a kid. That was cool. But other than that, I have never followed basketball for my entire life. I had like NBA NBA Live 98 on my PS1. And I always liked to play as the Indiana Pacers because it was like no longer my Bulls. It's like, who the fuck are these jokers? <laughs> these aren't the guys I grew up with. Okay, so we lit one fireplace. We have one lit. That's good, right? Now, if I can get the fuck out of this cabin. That's the other thing. I don't know about you guys, but I do not have the spatial reasoning skills to understand how to navigate those cabins smoothly. My brain just doesn't work like that. I have issues with knowing how many times I turned, what wall I'm facing, and that, I mean, that plays into real life. I'm horrible with directions. I'm that guy where it's like, oh, I'm, I'm going this way. Uh, how do I get there? I'm like, I don't know, man. You gotta ask somebody else. <laughs> and I know that character probably frustrates a lot of people, but tough shit, man. It is what it is. Let's get out of this cabin because it does not look like there's a fireplace in here. And we're gonna continue on our knifeless journey Look at this! Come on! What am I so... God fucking damn it. It's, I guess it's easier to just walk through them. And now we got this goddamn bird! Who I avoided somehow. Tell me there's something of use in this cabin. Give me a fireplace. Yeah, I know you're not gonna give me a goddamn knife. Those appear to be outside only. I'm getting text messages. The real bummer is that my first character... I picked up something that I, I don't even know what it was, but I've never seen it before. It looked like a jar of red liquid. And I don't know what that is. Maybe that was a really important thing that's like a random drop. I don't know. Fuck you, bird! Okay, we got the bird. I also have no idea which cabins I have and have not been in. <laughs> like I said, dude, the map is hard to read. And I- fuck! I assume most of you who are watching this have- There's the knife! There's the knife! We need the knife! Look, I can't even stop these guys before they get to me. Now, we have the knife, two shots, and they're fucking done. Let's get in the goddamn boat. We've even got- God damn it! We've even got Pamela Voorhees is in the goddamn water. Get on the f stop at the dock, will you please? Oh, are these the kids? Or are those the kids who have died? <laughs> Fuck. Okay, what can I do here? Wait a minute. Get out of this menu. Turn around. Can I talk to these kids? Cure. Nope. Take. I can't take any kids. Well. Those might all be dead kids. I'm not really sure. They don't have any color to their <laughs> features at all. So there's a chance those are all the corpses of children. And, uh, you know, what am I supposed to do? So let's take a look at the map, at least. Is that where the kids are? So then why were those other... God damn, give me a break! Why were those other cabins lighting up before? And where am I now? I'm over here. So we, here's what we're going to do. We are going to kill these fuckers. And then we're going to take this path... Oh! Oh! Come on, come on, come on. We got him. We have we have t beaten Jason. I want to say, oh, what's that? What is that? Fucking, oh, it's like a spinning knife. That apparently you cannot throw in the air. Excellent. Okay, so we're down to our third guy here. His name is Paul. You know, Paul, George, and fucking Laura, I think those, those are their names, all look exactly the same. They just wear different. Two torches. I would have settled for uh, one torch and one knife, but I guess we're gonna take what we can get here. Looking for a fireplace. Looking for a fireplace. I think I started a thought earlier and I didn't really finish it. I was gonna say, I assume 
everybody who is watching this episode of Let's Play Friday has also seen the Angry Video Game Nerd episode on this video game. I hope you have. If you have not, go back and watch it. At this point, it's from a long, long, long time ago. It's an oldie but a goodie, as they say. At fucking hold, dude, I fucking love James Rolfe, the Angry Video Game Nerd, so much. And he just started a podcast. The Cinemassacre Podcast, which I listened to- Oh, what is that? That's that shit! What do I do with that? Is that health? Is that a potion? Trying to fight at all is completely useless, unless you have a knife. That spinning knife that I had kind of sucked. Oh, what was that? A note. What do I do with that? Take it. Go into the cabin near the cave. Okay. So now we have a goal, at least. In this menu, cure. Can I do anything with that? Nope. So that red shit, I guess, is not health? I don't know what it is. This is one of those... God damn it, will you stop? This is one of those games that's way too obscure. God damn it! For its own good. Okay, the... The, the cabin by the cave. I guess we're gonna try to head over in that direction. There's no way... Oh, there's a key! Why did I not pick the key up? I would like to pick that key up, please. Oh! You asshole! I don't know if I can beat him with just rocks. Oh, I did. Fuck him. Pick the key up. Pick the key... Why did I have to jump to get that key? It was at fucking... It was at my waist. I have to jump and reach down like I'm doing a fucking tail grab? Knife! I'm still fucked, though. Look at- this is INSANE! Okay, so we're in this cabin. Is there anything in here? I feel like I've been in this one. <laughs> oh, this game is so con Another note! Read- read the fucking note! Turn around! Where'd it go? There it is. Press start. Nope, select. Go down. Take. There's a machete hidden somewhere in the cave. Okay, so we want to go in the cabin by the cave. And now apparently we also want to go in the cave itself. I have a key, I have a torch, I have a knife. Where are we? We are about to... If we're heading in the direction I think we are. I think we're about to... Uh, there's no way. Okay, this is going to at least... This game is my asshole, dude. I'm so... I'm not sorry. This game sucks. <laughs> okay, we're gonna keep heading in this direction to get closer to the cave. I'm not even gonna fuck- I'm gonna try to not fight as many of these shitheads as possible. This might be a good amount of distance to take some of them out and hope one of them drops a goddamn knife. But the thing is, sometimes the knife was just dropping at random. Why did I even come in here? There's no point. I don't have a torch even if there's a fucking fireplace in there. Oh, now I do. Two of them. Why am I lighting fireplaces? What does that have to do with anything? And is there a fireplace in here? Nope. Okay, so. Unless there's one around this corner. There is. Okay, so that's two fireplaces that we have lit. Feeling pretty good about that, I suppose. <laughs> Some sort of progress. We need a knife. I'm noticing up at the top, I think there's one child left. Oh! So we... Where are we? We're gonna take this turn, and now we should be somewhat close to the cave. Although I don't know if we're gonna get anywhere near it because there's too many of these fuckers! Fuck you, bird! Come on now. How many of you have played this game before, and how many of you have positive memories of this game? Okay, this is the cabin by the cave. You can't say that it's not. It is a cabin, and it's by the cave. Is there a fireplace in here? I don't know, there seems to be several different hallways to travel. 
So we're gonna turn here, look around. There's the door, that's where we just came from. So what the, what the fuck did we need to do in there? And look at where we are on the map. The fuck, the stick figure. The cabin near the cave, there's four of them. I suppose the one that's over to the right, the one we're heading to now, is the closest cabin to the cave. So is this a guessing game? Fuck you. Should we just go in the cave? We don't have much longer until the goddamn all the kids are dead anyway, so I guess we're just gonna explore this cave. Oh great, black birds that I can barely see in this black background cabin. Not cabin, cave. Fuck you. You know what I'm talking about. Oh! Wait, there's... There's different paths in this cave? I don't know why- OH! What the hell is that?! Whoa! That thing took way more hits than I thought it was going to. You know, I get that the, those are probably supposed to be bats, but you can't see them. Cause this- OH! These fuckers! I have no idea what I'm supposed to do in here. There, what'd they say? There's, there's a machete in here somewhere? How an asshole am I supposed to get up there? How am I supposed to get up there? There's no double jump. I'm probably- can I walk? I can walk right off that edge. So that- I- that might just be a dead end. I don't know. Oh good! Everything- let the whole fucking place collapse on me. At this juncture. What's the difference? What I keep trying to ask is how many of you have played this game? Do any of you have positive memories of this game? Because I can tell you, I'm not really building positive memories of it right now. ASSHOLE! <laughs> We're down to our last... Uh... Counselor, I suppose. Chrissy. Why do I keep saying I suppose? That That's not even like, in my normal lexicon. Why are all these zombies- there's the fucking knife, thank you. Have I been in this cabin? Give me a fireplace. Give me something that's going to extend my life. Or just end it with the fucking quickness. <laughs> and we'll get this goddamn show on the road. There does not appear to be a fireplace in here. And I don't know what my, my main goal should have been. Should my main goal have been to save the kids? Because... When you start the game, it didn't say anything about make sure the kids stay alive. Maybe that's just common sense. But it didn't say anything about that. It just said light the fires. And if those kids are just gonna fucking play distraction from me to light the fireplaces, then that, that just is what it is. <laughs> okay. Where are we right now? We're over here. I guess we can try to oh, get in the boat and head this way. There's no possible way I could have killed that bird. Or that enemy right there. There's no way. Can I go into this cabin? No, you can only stop at the dock. Okay, so why are there three cabins? Thank you. So did we save them? So these kids are alive. Now it says Children 3. Oh, it also says Jason is in here. So, th you know what? We're about to die because we don't have a weapon. But we're gonna go down fucking swinging. He's in here somewhere. Oh! There he is. And one hit does so much damage. Oh, we do- we have a knife. But... Oh my god, he does so much damage! The knife didn't help at all. You and your friends are dead. Game over. <laughs> Dan Dans, I realize this is a little shorter than normal, but you know, this was Friday. Oh, the 13th. We had to play Friday the 13th on this episode of Let's Play Friday. It just is what it is. Thanks for watching. I love you. And I will see you next week.